The Samsung T159 has terrific call quality, large buttons, visual voice mail, and an affordable price. Simple flip phones like T-Mobile's Samsung T159 remain relevant for one primary purpose, placing and taking calls. Lacking the pomp of smartphones packed to the gills, they had better at least get call quality right. T-Mobile's latest flip phone doesn't look like much. It's plain black and uninspiring to behold, but if you're looking for a phone that'll reach out and call someone, that the Samsung T159 can do. One benefit of the form factor is that it slips easily into pockets. The shared micro USB port and wired headset jack is inconvenient. The lightly etched backing is the phone's only real accent. The camera shutter button on the right spine is one useful element for snapping photos on the fly. Too bad photo quality isn't a strong suit. The T159 slim dimensions, 3.8 inches tall by 1.9 inches wide by 0.6 inch thick, fit it easily into pockets. At 2.9 ounces, it's also pretty light, a hair too light for my tastes. A standard clamshell design puts a 1 inch external display out front for checking the time, and for viewing signal strength and alerts like awaiting messages or missed calls, at a glance. Above the screen is a 1.3 megapixel camera lens with camcorder capability. Inside, the 1.8 inch screen is too small, it could easily stretch to 2 inches. Flipping open the phone instills confidence in the thick joint. The rubber stopper protecting the top of the phone isn't attractive, but it is effective. Beneath the screen is a large navigation array that includes two soft keys, a send and end, power button, and a clear button, all surrounding the four-directional toggle with central OK button. The phone's volume rocker is on the left spine, and on the right you'll find the camera's shutter button and the shared micro USB slot and headset jack. That means that you'll unfortunately need an adapter if you're planning to listen to music or messages from the T159 through a wired headset. There's no microSD card slot on the T159, which isn't necessarily a drawback for this type of entry-level device. Extra storage is always nice to have, but since the hardware design doesn't place a premium on photos or music, it's understandable why expandable memory didn't make the cut. A proprietary operating system runs the T159 and unfortunately, its oversimplicity isn't easy on the eye. I know, I know, that sounds counterintuitive, but the default menu screen is plain white and the icons are a little simplistic. The 128 by 160 pixel QVGA resolution is poor, and it shows in larger lettering and in the icons. You can customize elements like the wallpaper, dialing display and brightness and backlight times, but you can't change other graphical elements, or the font size. 